Spring quarter graduates, welcome back to the Naval Postgraduate School campus. If we were able to celebrate the completion of your studies here at the Naval Postgraduate School with our traditional commencement ceremony, your day would begin right here, lining up outside Root Hall with your colleagues and classmates as you prepare to enter King Auditorium. This is a fitting location to begin this great event. With the Naval Postgraduate School's centennial timeline running the length of Root Hall, the university's long, impressive history stands beside you as you now become a permanent part of the Naval Postgraduate School's honored legacy. Graduates, you have completed your degree requirements under very challenging circumstances. Finishing your theses and capstone projects, accommodating feedback from your advisors, earning that final approval. It's hard enough without having to do so in a distance learning environment, but you did it. And you not only endured, you excelled, honoring your services and your nations with outstanding scholarship. Here at NPS, our mission is to provide a graduate education that advances national security through challenging academic programs and innovative research. We can proudly report that you have succeeded in accomplishing that mission. Graduates, as you return to the fleet and force and transition to your next assignments, I ask that you pause to reflect upon the ideals and the beliefs that empowered you to succeed here. As Admiral Mullen so eloquently told us in a recent lecture, Advanced education is not just about the acquisition of new knowledge and skills or the know-how or even in deeper research. Rather, advanced education is about the changes that are inspired in you as a leader. As graduates of our university, you are now empowered to be the agents of change who champion the next challenges and the solutions the next challenges. Through your thought leadership, your strength, and your collective will, you will be the determinant force behind the solutions that will always be required in our uncertain world. External forces matter, but internal forces are what make the difference. Your decisions matter. Your, your recommendations to decision makers matter. The physics of decision making actually have changed. Speed, volume, and mass are faster, greater, and denser. And the environment around us today is extraordinarily intense in so many ways and at so many levels. Some things just seem to be repeating themselves. Other things just seem to be so disruptive and so new. And so, we must continue to read, we must continue to learn, and we must continue to lead. As our next class of NPS alumni, you are representatives of your nation, of our nation, and of your service, our service, and the service of this university. Take pride in the significance of your accomplishments. Express thanks to your families and loved ones and your friends for the support that they have provided during this entire time and during this unique time of challenges in the courses of your study. Always remember to reach back to the networks you have just created and made here and know that this is your home for, for continuous learning and intellectual capacity. You are the men and women who will provide the principled, thoughtful leadership our nation needs. And I am genuinely optimistic about you and about the future that you will create. Lead and make a difference. With all of these things in mind, and with enormous pride. As president of the Naval Postgraduate School, I confer upon you, spring graduates, the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Science, and Master of Business Administration with all the rights 
privileges and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, graduates, and thank you to the family, friends, and to the faculty that supported you through these many months of hard work at the Naval Postgraduate School. While we really wish we could be there with you today to celebrate alongside you, we are proud of all you have accomplished, a master's degree with a purpose. And you have additional reason to be proud. Not only did you complete Naval Postgraduate School's rigorous academic and research requirements, but you did so while adapting to a global pandemic and adjusted to remote work and virtual learning seamlessly. But the journey doesn't end here. It's really only just begun. We need you to take all you've learned at NPS and to translate that into a warfighting advantage for our Navy, for our joint force, and for our allies and partners. I have high hopes that due to the manner in which you graduated, you'll be uniquely suited to face tomorrow's challenges better than those who have gone before you. Our nation is in a competition that challenges not only our security and our prosperity, but our shared values as well. We face a determined set of adversaries that have spent decades studying our methods to offset our traditional strengths. Education fuels the learning engine that allows us to undoubtedly pioneer new operating concepts and capabilities and to find new sources of strength. We depend upon research and studies like those being undertaken at NPS right now to make investments that will be decisive in the future. Now more than ever, we need leaders who can question assumptions and who can think differently. We need leaders that can follow data and solve key operational problems. Your studies will help leverage the power of information across our joint force. Whatever the discipline study, you have gained knowledge that will help solve key operational problems, which will enable us to seize the initiative and to deter, deter to dissuade, and to ultimately defeat our competitors. We need leaders who can leverage emerging technologies to strengthen our collective military power. NPS is focused on these areas, and many of you have been able to take advantage of experience-based learning in Silicon Valley. We need leaders who can think globally across all domains while still being an expert in your own warfighting discipline. We need leaders who can adapt and provide creative solutions during times of disruption, like with COVID-19. But more than anything, and you need to take this point with you, we need leaders of character, leaders who can speak the truth and always choose the harder right over the more convenient or expedient wrong. NPS has given you powerful tools and we're relying on you to use them to make us stronger, to find new advantages that'll enable us to maintain the rules-based international order that has benefited so many for so long. So congratulations, shipmates, and I'll see you in the fleet. Uh, greetings, Naval Postgraduate School. Congratulations on your uh, graduation today. I'm Vice Admiral Stuart Munch, Deputy Chief of Naval Operations for Warfighting Development in the Pentagon, also known as OPNAV N7. Clausewitz spoke to the enduring nature of warfare and the ever-changing character of warfare. And by virtue of your graduation, you are at the cutting edge of warfighting. And that's our best hedge against the continuing change in that character going forward. Again, congratulations and look forward to serving with you out in the fleet. Congratulations to all 319 graduates of the Naval Postgraduate School. I'm Vice Admiral Sean Buck, the 63rd Superintendent of the United States Naval Academy. And I'm thrilled for all of you today. The degrees that you have earned during your time in Monterey mark a tremendous achievement in your careers. And the adversity you overcame down the home stretch only serves to solidify the importance of this moment. 
Education has been a cornerstone of my naval career, and I hope that as you return to your different corners of the fleet, you'll bring with you all the knowledge you've gathered while earning your degrees and use it as a tool to become the best warfighter and leader you can be. Congratulations, and go Navy. NPS graduates, congratulations. It's been a little bit of a challenging year for you and certainly a different graduation than you might have expected. I'm proud of you, I'm proud of the work that you've done, and I'm excited about the work that you will do when you come back to us here in the Fleet Marine Force and the Navy. I just want to encourage all of the Marines specifically to remember this. You're not coming back to the Marine Corps. You never left the Marine Corps. We value your service. We value what you've done at NPS. And we're going to demonstrate that. We're going to demonstrate that to you on promotion boards. We're going to demonstrate that to you on command boards. Because the things that you're doing under the leadership of Admiral Rondeau are critical to the future of the Marine Corps. I guarantee you, to the entire student body, regardless of service, regardless of affiliation, thanks for what you do. Thanks for working so hard this past year. Semper Fidelis, God bless all of you. To our graduates today, congratulations on completing your studies at this prestigious and rigorous institution. You represent the very best from all of our services and departments. And I am honored that I was able to visit and speak with you earlier this year. As you return to the Joint Force, apply what you've learned to solve hard problems and innovate to advance our capability to defend this great nation. Fair winds and following seas as you take this next great step in your careers. I'm proud of each of you, but as the only U.S. Army officer with the chance to speak today, it's my duty to get an early start for December. So go Army, beat Navy. Hi, I'm Sandy Winnefeld, former Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And I want to congratulate all of you who are graduating from the Naval Postgraduate School this spring, and also to thank the remarkable faculty and staff that helped guide you on your journey. Now that you have restocked your intellectual cupboard, it's time to go out and make a difference with that knowledge. And I want you to remember a couple of things. First, you might not be afforded an opportunity right away to put that knowledge to work. Don't worry about that. You'll find plenty of opportunities, especially if you actively seek them out. Second, we really do live in a changing world. And we not only need to go after improved means for taking on those challenges, we also have to go after new ways. And I really encourage you to especially take a look at the latter. So once again, congratulations to all of you and go out and make a difference. Thanks a lot for your hard work. Hello, I'm Admiral Bob Natter, United States Navy retired. I'm also a fellow graduate of the Navy Postgraduate School. As a student here, I discovered that this was an outstanding institution with top-notch faculty and outstanding fellow U.S. and international students, all of whom contributed to my education based on their individual experiences and indeed their wisdom. I trust that that was your experience as well. So let me just simply say congratulations, well done, and welcome aboard as a fellow alumnus. Thanks very much. Congratulations to my fellow graduates. Um, I can't believe I'm here, but I thank God and I thank my family and my village um, for supporting me through this process. It was a beautiful ride and I'm very glad that I've experienced it. I will see you out on your operational tours. Good morning. Keith Snyder here, Dean of the Graduate School of Defense Management. Congratulations to all of GSDM's graduates receiving the MBA and the Master of Science degrees. I hope your time with us has been as rewarding for you as it has been for us. All the best to you as you move on with your careers. Please stay in touch, and again, congratulations. Hi, I would like to thank all the NPS community for the perfect environment created here for international students, especially the professors and my colleagues. Thanks of all of you. I am pretty sure that I will come back to Brazil with a lot to contribute to the Brazilian Navy. Bye-bye, everyone. Hi, my name is Mohamed El Yemani. I am a Colonel, Royal Jordanian Air Force. I would like to express my endless gratitude to my country, Jordan, and to the Naval Postgraduate School, leadership, faculty, and supporting staff for allowing me this unique opportunity of joining the ranks of this great institution graduates. I would like to thank my family, my advisor team, 
my friends and colleagues for all the help and support I received throughout this experience. Hello, graduates of the National Security Affairs Department. It has been an honor and a privilege to serve you as your program officer during your time in Monterey. I am humbled by your collective intellectual and academic accomplishments, and I know that the future of our collective armed forces is in good hands. Good luck as you return to the fleet, fair winds and following seas. I'd like to thank my family and friends who supported me all through my time at MPS. Thank you especially to my loving husband, Mike, and my parents. I couldn't have made it without all your support through my time at MPS. And thank you to the best cohort ever and also to my program officers. I'm Rear Admiral Retired Jerry Ellis. I'm the uh, sponsored chair for Undersea Warfare and also the NPS Senior Submariner. First of all, congratulations to all our graduates particularly the submariners and the Bowman Scholars. You are, I know that you will do well in your careers because you now have your NPS degree, and congratulations on that. And also a special shout out to Lieutenant Michael Lacey. Michael served as the president of the local chapter of the Naval Submarine League, and he was superb and a pleasure to work with. And lastly, words of wisdom for submariners. Remember, shut the hatch before you dive that submarine. Hey there, this is Sean Everton from the Defense Analysis Department and the Core Lab. Just wanted to pass on my congratulations to everyone and wish you the best of luck. And please come back and see us. And Kim, you may not believe this, but I really enjoyed your thesis. Good luck and have fun storming the castle. So it's time for our spring graduation. We have a large graduating class and normally we would have the opportunity to all congratulate you in person. Uh, the faculty would attend the graduation and I would be up on stage and shaking your hand as you cross the stage. But unfortunately, under the current circumstances, we're not able to be there with you today. But we did want you to know that we are very proud of your accomplishments, and uh, we all wish to tell you, congratulations. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Great job and fair winds and following seas. Keep in touch.